Hi everyone, today I am making some more keto, ketovore protein buns with only five ingredients. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds. If you are new here, please check out my website and some of my other videos, returning subscribers, Welcome back. I hope you liked today's video. So today I want to thank Element for sponsoring this video. I will talk about that in a little bit after we get these buns in the oven. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make more buns today. Uh, these are going to be similar to my BBB E buns. There's five ingredients. However, two of the ingredients are optional and there's no egg white powder in them at all. We are talking about using unflavored, regular whey protein powder. And I know that doesn't work for everybody, but the egg white powder doesn't work for everybody either. So, you know, of all the buns that we have, pick the ones that work for you. So whey protein powder is one ingredient, eggs, are another ingredient, salt. The two optional ingredients are baking powder and cream of tartar. The, these things will help if you are in an environment where things fall flat, <laughs> um, humidity, that kind of thing. Today I'm gonna to put a pinch of cream of tartar in because it's muggy in here and so we've got some humidity going. I'm also going to use a little bit of baking powder um, because they do give a, a higher bun. Um, so this recipe that I am making, I'm just making enough for six large buns. If you want to make a loaf of bread, you can certainly do that, but I would double the recipe. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we need five eggs. I'm going to separate them. So the yolks are going to go in this small container and the egg whites are going to go in here for whipping. We're also going to be beating the yolks with the dry ingredients separately. So that's why I have them in here. Oh, I'm going to uh, turn my oven on now so that it's ready by the time I'm ready. 350 degrees. I do have an egg yolk separator somewhere. I should really get it out for times like this. I know a lot of people tell me that their biggest problem is separating the eggs. There are little tools that can help you with that. I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, so I am going to put in just a little bit of cream of tartar, like an eighth of a teaspoon, big, a big pinch. Just to hedge my bets here, because it is muggy today. So before I get that going, because it's going to be loud, I'm gonna tell you what I'm putting in with the egg yolks here. I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. So I'll just uh, scoop out just a little, a little tidbit there. This is Redmond's Real Salt. Going to put in half a teaspoon of baking powder. This is a quarter teaspoon, so two of those. Just to give it a bit of lift. Entirely optional if you cannot tolerate baking powder for any reason. This is unflavored whey protein. Um, the only ingredient is 100% unfiltered whey protein and lecithin. So uh, I think whatever unflavored protein powder that you have should work. Um, I think it also would be interesting to try it with some flavored ones. I haven't, I haven't really gotten into that because I'm, you know, trying to stay away from kind of sweet buns and things like that. Um, so I'm just going to scoop out three tablespoons. Okay, that is it for the ingredients. Um, I am going to uh, be beating these up while this is going because we may as well have all the noise going at once. So it should take five minutes or so. 
I'm going to start the egg whites and then I'm going to whip all this together and then put them in here. Part of the success of these buns is the technique. This technique um, was given to me by commenters on, some, on my last video. At least two or three people said that if I incorporate, if I mix everything together and then incorporate some of the egg white that's whipped back into the yolks and then mix them together, I'll get a better texture. And I did that and it's true. So I'm gonna show you that, what, uh, what they all told me. And so one thing I really love about YouTube is I, I read every comment, as you guys know, I try to answer them all. And I learn a lot from some of them, like I really do. So, so thank you for that. Um, so I'm gonna get this going. Enough talking. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna put it right in there. Okay. And I'm just gonna put this on the lowest speed. So the idea is we're going to work one sort of fluffy thing into another fluffy thing, giving a better, um, consistency and uh, uh, it it worked. I just want to get some more of this down here into the into the bowl. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of a little bit of this. Actually, I'm going to do it with the spatula. I think that's probably better rather than mixing it. Ah, there it goes. I'm eating these, I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put a, a little bit at a time in here, just kind of do a slow incorporation. So thank you to those of you who suggested this. This is, it's something that kind of makes sense after you think about it, but who would have thought? Okay, and then, just going to divide it into six. Now, if you really wanted some nicely shaped buns, I saw those ladies over at Low Carb Spin the other day. They, uh, they put it into a plastic bag, not, you know, like a piping bag, and then just kind of squeeze the mixture out, and they made perfect, <laughs> perfectly shaped buns. I 100% meant to do that and just remembered at this moment. So I promise I will do that on my next video because I was very impressed with that, which just how nice they looked. They looked like professional bakery buns. It's just a Ziploc bag. Those ladies have some skills over there, let me tell you. But these ones should turn out pretty good too. They just won't be quite as perfect. Now you can do anything with these that you do with, you know, your other egg white buns. Um, like I could put a well in them and make danishes. I could put cheese in them. I could do all kinds of things. I'm leaving them plain because I'm right now for this September challenge, I'm eating pretty plain stuff. These will be buns with butter, and uh, that's about it. Going to put these in the oven. So for the buns, put them in for 15 minutes. Um, you could do the egg wash and all that stuff. I, I'm not going to, I'm just going to bake them like this so you can see what they're like. And um, if you're doing, if you're doubling the recipe and making a loaf of bread, I would probably go 25 minutes. You'll have to experiment. I'm more of a bun person than a bread person. This is, this is what I like. So they're going in, they're going in the oven. Okay. 
so while we're waiting for those to bake, I am going to tell you about the amazing sponsors of this YouTube video. It is Element. Okay, so what's Element? Element is a super tasty drink. I really love it and I finally feel like I have something that is helping me with my nightly leg cramps. I'm getting a good night's sleep. It's got the science-backed formula of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. It tastes really good. It has no gluten, no artificial colors and flavors. Everything is natural, no junk, no BS, everything is what you need and nothing of what you don't need. I absolutely love it. The little uh, sticks that, uh, that it comes with are convenient. You can throw them in your bag, you can throw them in your purse, um, travel with them. So right now, Element is offering a free sample pack. It has eight all eight flavors in it. Uh, there's fruity flavors, there's even a raw unflavored for those of you who, who don't want the flavor or the stevia extract, it's got some fruity and some spicy and the chocolate. So you get one of each so that you can decide, you know, what your favorite is. Um, I have two favorites now, although I have yet to try the chocolate, so we'll see. Um, so to get this package, and this is um, also good for returning uh, customers apparently, you don't have to be a new customer. To get the package, head over to drinklmnt.com slash ketogenicwoman. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ketogenicwoman. Use that link to get this deal only available to my viewers. So thank you Element for sponsoring this video and thank you to my viewers for supporting the things that I do to help keep this channel going. I appreciate it very much. Okay, so here are the buns after 15 minutes. My glasses got fogged up when I took them out. They look nice and high and fluffy, but of course, uh, you know, they will shrink. Um, but you know, not not too bad. This, these are three days old, these ones here. So I made them exactly the same the other day. They, um, they're still, they're, I mean, and they're not, they're not sticky on top like the egg white buns get. I mean, you don't get you know, stuff sticking to your hands. And, uh, but they do shrink a bit as, as you can see. So that's why you wanna make them nice and fluffy and high so that when they shrink, they're still, like I can still slice that. And um, in fact, today for lunch, I sliced one in half and I made kind of a grilled cheese bacon sandwich out of it. Um, they fry up nicely in the pan. So uh, well, I'll just tear one apart so you can see what it looks like. So it has sort of that same fluffiness almost that the BBBE buns have. You know, it's uh, soft and bread-like without all the ingredients that a lot of them have. Um, I, because it's got whey in it though, I don't think it's, you know, considered BBBE or um, might not be considered carnivore. I have no idea. Uh, they're ketovore, they're keto, they're low in carbs. They have four ingredients, five, if you've used all the optional ones as well. Um, so, I mean, to me, for the people who live in other countries, um, you know, or even for myself in Canada, I, I probably will start using these because, uh, you know, 25 bucks a pound for egg white powder is just ridiculous. I, I'm, I'm kind of done with that. And I think I can probably do everything that I've done with my other buns, I can probably do with these as well. Um, I, I can, you know, if, if I want to make desserty type things, I could. If I wanted to make cheese buns, I could. All, all those things. I myself am not looking for the perfect loaf of bread that tastes like an actual real loaf of bread. If that's important, um, you know, 
there's some really good ones out there. So, um, like, yeah, check out uh, Indigo Neely's breads. Hers are amazing. Um, Janet Greta's got some great breads. Uh, Carnivore Angel buns, those uh, Hawaiian buns. Oh, those are so awesome. So many people out there making fantastic breads and buns out there. I have to cater to, you know, my issues, which are food sensitivities, the less ingredients, the better. So, you know, if you're one of those people, this is your bun. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I hope that that is helpful to you and that you will try these because they're actually not bad. They're pretty good and I hope they work for you. And uh, I will, I, oh, I wanna just thank Element one more time for sponsoring my post. Thank you very much. I will see you guys on the next video. Oh yeah, salty. Take care. Okay, cut. Wait, before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay, you're gonna have to just maybe cut that out. Is a, oh, I don't have my prop. <laughs> And uh, I am about to make myself a, am I tearing it from the wrong, I'm tearing it from the bottom instead of the top. Okay, I'm gonna talk about what I'm about to do and then I'm gonna start doing it. Hit subscribe, subscribe.